zoom in. Don't do anything. Just zoom in right now on that where you had the see. Look at that. It's surficial. What do you think? Yeah. It looks yeah, I think we'll get a we'll get a push course somewhere along the way. Yeah, but I mean, there you can almost see it in cross section. Yeah. So scoop it again, but not in that same hole up above it to get another pile of those black guys. Sure thing. But it looks like it's on the surface. Pull wide there, please. Thanks, Dave. Which is interesting, because people always wonder how do manganese nodules avoid burial. Yeah. There was a whole bunch of papers written on it. Yep, absolutely. It all seemed like gobbledygook, but... It's a uh, push on difference everything. in grain size. The, yeah. The small That's grains great. filter down, yeah. and those big ones can't. It's sort of like how in New England you constantly push up the glacial erratics. Yeah. But that requires a permafreezing at oh, the right. bottom. In New England you have a continuous source of rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Yeah, I don't think you have to do very deep scoop or a long scoop. Sure. To get the maximum if it if it in fact is a surficial deposit. Just scoop along Aren't the surface. a little jumpy, which is interesting. Yeah. That is Yeah, yeah. so you were halted when nice it was long that. one. And we'll skim off the top. Yeah. You have some pushback, I think. Yeah. There's some resistance in there. Yeah, the rocks are yeah, it's the rivers in there. Fused yeah. together. That's good. All right. Let's do that amount. Yeah, that's good. Keep doing that. Will so we go for one more scoop after this guy? I, I think that's probably enough. Yeah, we're good. We don't need to make a very large wide, bowl please. out of the clay, do we? <laughs> Finger bowl. Pull wide, please. All right. Thank you. Now we'll just continue on this, but this is a good start point. Tolter pushed one of the Alvin weights out. Yeah. He did. I don't think you picked up that much weight yet. Well, we'll have to. I it wasn't by choice. But that's up to you all. Jake, can no, you I just, just have your. The, um, uh, the tool tray pushed it out, half out. Jake, can you keep your finger on the hydraulic? For the craft, in case it uh, decides to do some weird stuff today. On it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it looks surficial. We'll see. Like I say, that was where a, a, a box core would nail it. It'd yeah, perfect. Nice section. Section. I don't know why we don't have those. Got to write. Probably them. can't get them on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, make them. They're pretty cool. You you can get them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see. I'm gonna go online here. Do oh. we do we have coverage in here? Over it now. It's called. Uh, I'm not sure I can get it, but I'll give it a Lower shot. Down a bit here. Balma. Remember how that was spelled? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's interesting that it's being jumpy. Yeah. Cool. Let's see if I can. All right, we'll call that good for that scoop, yeah? Yep. All right. Stow and go. Stow and go, Raj. Go ahead and push it on in there, please. There it is. Valma box cores. And you just take the bottom and use it, turn it into an album. Calling candle. it in because it'll take a while. Roger. Bridge now. Let's type that. Let's see if we can get it. 100 meter step bearing 350. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have to push that plate in. Yeah. It's all right, though. Yeah. I'm actually going to set this guy down for a minute here. And we're done with it. Wow. 
That is very jumpy. I'm not getting another one, I promise. I'm just resetting my jaws a bit. <laughs> Someone get the Sharpie. Right, Mike, Mark IV on another <laughs> scoop. <laughs> throw, it, throw it overboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anybody wants any ice in their drink, they should go get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Yes. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ew. Gross, get out of there. <laughs> Got a view in bubble. If you Raj. That's still pretty big, yeah. Think I'm on it there? Um, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, this front part of it's on. Is that a magnet on the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Only the front part, yeah. Uh, well, this is easier to tap it up there. Yeah, for sure. There you go. It's on there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good enough, I think. Good enough for paperwork. Uh, I don't know that the tray might just push it out again anyway. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's scram. Scram, Sam. Scram. And he. Get out ahead a bit here, right? So we'll still have some minutes, so it's okay. <laughs> so, Bob, these facials that you're talking about. <laughs> One of our viewers suggested bottom mud and hagfish slime would make it. Great spa facial. Oh, oh my! Yeah. Oh, why would they ever say that? It's so mean. I don't think about. I don't want to think about that. No. All right, time to bogey. Thanks to those of you tuning in. Feel free to send your questions in in the chat. Bob, another thing that'd be good is the the net bag. You know, you scoop through that, let all the sediment fall out. Oh yeah. I think we have one of those in the shop somewhere. Oh yeah, like the titanium frame that you just tie the net to. Oh no, I'm thinking of a scoop with a net on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like a fishing net, maybe? Like uh, laundry bag. Laundry yeah. bag is ours, yep. too, yeah. I have one I could donate. Laundry <laughs> bag. coming. 
it down, then we'll shoot. Can we take a look at that white thing? Sure. Sure thing. Plus there's something on the sticking up on the left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a little coral. Something. Hmm. It's interesting how it gives that pseudo color that goes away when you Yeah. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Dave. I have no idea what that is. No idea. Nope. Nope. It's sedimented over, so can't be I don't know. Maybe a hold hold fast or something that roll downhill? I don't know. Uh, can't tell. I don't know. It's like a shell. Hmm. Doesn't look fresh. No. It's like a shell. But it can you come up there a bit? No, Jake? Yeah. Yep. Pick it up. All right. Full wide there, please. <laughs> it's a calling card. <laughs> it's, it's, it's business card. This dive is expected to last at least 24 hours. Well, it was 24 hours till Bob came here. Yeah. <laughs> now it's 32. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what we saw. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly a shoot of goodies. Yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm really it. glad we spend some time in these valleys as well. See, this is just, you know, come and vacuum this up. Getting thicker now. One of our viewers asked why yesterday when a soda can was found, why it wasn't retrieved. And that's because we only have so much space for our specimens. So we're saving it for our rock samples and our biological samples. Some more really white stuff up there, too. Yeah. It's like a strange triangular platelet, isn't it? Yeah. There's weird patches. I wonder if some of the patchiness is... I just think where there's... Greater, some of it gets covered by. You think it gets covered by sediment? Some of it, or I think it's the faster moving ones are wider. Yeah. They're just getting a flow. Yeah, it's like thirty six ninety, thirty seven hundred. Wider ones are scoop. This is yeah. This is all the gravel, sand. Those little white things are benthic critters living in there. Mud yeah, underneath. little worms. Yeah. But there you go. That's just a valid river of it. It's curious how it goes through these chutes, and it opens up, and it squeezes back, and it opens back up, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a you scenario where... Head up to the ridge? Hang a left or right? Oh, or no, I think we... All Keep right. going. We got, you know, another gonna, couple hundred meters of this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's, There's a... Resinged? Resinged sea star. We got a biological Kodak moment here. <laughs> His arm's in the exact Go ahead and push opposite on in there a bit, please, Dave. position I would expect him to be in. Yeah. Sort of like his like it's missing part of its arm like, there. Yeah, I had a bad, oh. had a bad day. Yep. Yeah, that was an earlier dive. <laughs> it's 
it's it's designed to capture our OVs. It's oh. waiting patiently. <laughs> it's like a interesting a vampire. Scale. Those lasers are ten meters apart. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. They're 10 centimeters. I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, someone took a bite out of it. Yeah. Maybe he's faking he's dead. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's called a possum coral. Are you adding on a little top hat to it there? With the telestrator, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a band-aid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I you put the banjo back up so he plays the banjo as well? I got a couple couple more that are going to come out <laughs> through the wash. Oh, so dear. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, full wide. <laughs> That's it. Channel fever is setting in. Dave, Dave's going to lock <laughs> this thing down tomorrow. There's, yeah. there's going to be just <laughs> only arrows and lines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um. And you can't see the telestrator if you're on quad view, is that correct, Dave? That's correct. Oh, well then there's a bunch of people who thought we just went crazy <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta feed one. <laughs> uh, I think we've, we've been crazy a long time. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> they're, they're, they've been following our watch. They are totally uh, unsurprised. They, they already do, yeah. <laughs> gone crazy we've <laughs> been crazy <laughs> question for the front row how many hours does it take to become proficient with the robotic arm well, i don't know that's a good question how many video games have you played <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is getting interesting look at this huh uh, yeah it's getting richer and you see on the downslope side yeah. of that rock they get a nice collection there yeah you gonna go ahead and push on in here a bit, please, Dave. This is getting nice, good stuff. Look at Great. that. Thanks, Dave. We're s selling it by the square inch. <laughs> <laughs> Used to, way back when, get a square inch of Alaska in your Cheerios or some. Oh, really? Cereal. Oh, yeah, you that's used cool. to. I've often wondered what they did with. People that had millions of square inches. Oh, I please, Dave. Yeah, he used to get a square inch of Alaska. This is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. It's getting denser gravel. Yeah. Okay, another telestrator question. If they can't see it on channel one, is it maybe because are you on YouTube and not on the website? No, it's just that we're not sending that feed out. Ah. Oh, sometimes you do, though, yeah? Well, if uh, you've subscribed to... The, no. <laughs> <laughs> For our Patreon subscribers. <laughs> I th I'm sure I've seen it on the feed, though, on, yeah. on Shore. Last yeah. expedition was kind of... I can send it out if... Uh, Sure. Uh, probably. I asked. I asked <laughs> Allison, and she said, "Maybe we should vote." <laughs> she said, "Any watch that Adam doesn't have control." We do <laughs> have a. I think at the trust site there is a donation site. A, yeah. Hey. Every, keep us. Uh, keep us going. Every dollar helps. Yep. For a nonprofit, you can tax deduct it. <laughs> Give us more <laughs> images on the telestrator. <laughs> more I options, know. please. Yeah, we need the next. We've just demonstrated <laughs> why we're. <laughs> Do we need to demonstrate our sanity, though, for this? <laughs> yep, channel fever is setting in. You can see it. <laughs> Last dive of the season. Oh, okay, Telestrator's going out on sat feed one now. Woo. All, All right. right. Thank you. Go. Banjos. Hey. Let's, Let's go. Let's with celebrate. great power. Comes great responsibility. <laughs> oh, no. Here we Adam. go. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that ever need to be? <laughs> Those were nodules he was yeah, juggling. Right. <laughs> Nodule juggler. He's totally committed to the project. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is getting thicker, isn't it? Yeah. Go ahead and push that in there a bit, please, Dave. Is that up to the right in Argus? Yeah. Uh, uh, coral or something? Spongers. Have you been monitoring or that we're losing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, the boss just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all... Big boss is here. Big yeah. boss. All right, full wide there, please, Dave. What is it? What's it going to be? I think it's a can. I think it's the trash. We yeah. all, we one all tested colored rocks. negative for COVID, but we haven't tested negative for being nuts. Or all right, <laughs> let's, let's do all <laughs> this stuff. We've been brought nuts. <laughs> yeah, what nice. is the big white thing? I don't, I don't know. know. We saw oh. it in there. It looks like a cuddle bone. You know what a cuddle bone is? Uh, uh, That's what you no. give a parakeet, a cuddlefish. Have that oh. cuddle bone. Oh. Go ahead and push that in there, please, Dave. See, haven't you ever had a parakeet and you had a cuddle bone? I've not had a parakeet. Wait, <laughs> why is there a know. hole in that? I pick it up. I don't know. Yeah, you got to pick it up. Is it a rock covered in it? Yeah, <laughs> come a little white? You've got to pick it up. It's an anomaly. <laughs> All right, grab it. Grab it. Uh, Jake, you want to get the arm out there? Yeah. You never know, man. It looks like, a, it looks like it's got two eyes and it's going to bite us. <laughs> Go ahead and push that in there full again. It there, reminds please. me of the old, what was that little pack guy that ran around and ate everything? Pac Man. That Pac -Man. could be yeah. trash. That looks calcium carbonate. Or is it? It's Sorry, almost I'm like a do cuddle bump up. Maybe poke it before we no, no, bring no. it on board. <laughs> no, yeah. Before we bring it on board? <laughs> Check the radioactivity. What do you think? Yeah. No, that's, that's, you right. know, that's an anomaly. We pick up anomalies. Okay, full wide there, please. Yeah, come on. That's almost looks like it has a cute. All right, go ahead, face. Jake. Okay, can see. All right, we pick up anomalies. See if it, how friable it is. Maybe just try poking it first. Yeah, I'm gonna give it's, it a poke. Go ahead and push it on there, please, Dave. It's a ro It's calcium. Look at that. It's hard. Pick hard. it up. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, it oh. makes white dust. Makes. <laughs> and then rotate it up. Almost looks like an abalone shell. There you go. Now let's look underneath. See if it has little feet. <laughs> she has little feet. <laughs> rotate it around. That's good out there, Jake. Yep. Yeah. That was jump. Yeah, yeah the a, arm's being a bit jumpy. Yeah, it's a mystery. Come on, that's cool. Look that's at that. pretty cool. Put it in the box. Right. You can put it on top of the scoop. Put it in the mystery box. Might be a bit big for that one. A there. coconut? No. <laughs> yeah, it's jumping. Can we put it in the starboard box? It might be a little yeah. big. Put it, put it on top of the scoop that we just did. I guess we could try that. Okay. You know. Pull away there, please. We've right. got this sort of catch-all box. Put oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. All right. Sorry, the arm's being very yeah. jumpy right now. Um, go ahead and freeze it. It's frozen. And then Crazy. maybe put it down. Uh, okay, actually. This is, this is, you think it's a coconut? Okay, go ahead and halt it there. They float. It. All right. It's still jumping. It's yeah, it. it's pretty jumpy. Think it'll still have milk in it? Coconut? Yeah. Um, be ready jump. to kill it at any point and don't bring the arm too okay. close in. There you just go. rotate it. Uh, I'll be ready to kill it for you. Okay. Uh, stand by there. I want to get good visibility on the arm the whole time. We're fine with Argus. Roger. Oh. All right, I'm going to spin around here. I'll put it, put, where am I putting it? On, the on top the, of the sediment. Yeah, right? okay. this, with the sediment. The lower right one. The one the okay. Right. That's our right, catch just really, box. really slowly there. Once your jaws at the edge there, just rotate yeah. it in. Nice. That's We're good. exploring. We're explorating. We're explorating. <laughs> That's good there. Doing great. It's. All right, I'm going to drop it here. Go ahead. Yeah. Heavy. Nice. Mm. I, don't, I can't <laughs> believe that's a coconut. Good job. Too big and it's too white and it's too heavy. 
All There's right. another one of those light brown you colored video rocks. That jumpiness? If we could look at that after you're done, Jess. Hey? Maybe. Sorry. I don't know. Like record the jumpiness of the. Ah, uh, it's okay. We'll it's just tell them that it's UVO. jumpy. Unidentified bottom object. Bottom object. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Allison ate all. Good job. What were they called? Jumpy arms are no oh. fun to. That Orange. box is turning into kind of like Cheetos. our, our junk drawer. Eat all the Cheetos. <laughs> okay, I'll get out ahead here. <laughs> all right, the ship's been stopped for a while now. Do we? Uh, I'd like to like look at that brown rock to the left before we go anywhere. Brown look rock. at all the brown is stuff that left behind. Are those ophiroids beneath that thing? It looked like there's at least one. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Left stuff behind. Where which, is the brown it, rock? Which I brown rock? It looks like the other one again. Uh, I think it's just it? right next to that. Yeah. I think oh, right. Um, there, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. The brown guy. Do you want to look at both of those yet? Yep. No, no, just, just this. Just one. the big one. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. looks like, kind of like the white thing. Yeah. yeah. Over time. <laughs> Interesting. Zoom in. See what we're Go ahead and push it on there, please, Dave. It's an archaeological carving. <laughs> Looks like there's like some worm holes there. I don't know. Thanks. Yeah. Looks yeah. calcareous. That doesn't help. That Flip it can't over. tell what it is. You want us to pick this one up as well, Bob? I mean, I'm game for picking up everything. <laughs> no, I think I think this one maybe stays a mystery. We'll figure out that what the white thing is. But let's get up the hill. Take a little we, rock next to it. We got a that? long way to go. I know. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Okay, we're going to stop move. exploring. <laughs> Bridge now. Do you realize this could be cargo? From it, something. Uh, 100 meters, bearing that 350. Another two anomalous objects. <laughs> <laughs> U UBOs. Could be anything. Well, that's the point. It's an anomaly. Mm -hmm. I pick up all anomalies. Although we've seen two of those now. Well, that's yeah, a, a couple. double anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> it's still an anomaly until you identify it. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Could be three of them. Viewers want to know where they can see the results of the inquiry about the mystery item. Oh, uh, I'm sure uh, we'll put it on the website. <laughs> I'll give you Adam's email address. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And his cell phone number. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to be publishing tos.org every March. We publish a summary of what we discovered. And you can go online, tos.org, New Frontiers in Ocean Exploration, and you can download free, it's like a National Geographic magazine, the last 13 years of Nautilus's field program. tos.org, New Frontiers in Ocean Exploration. It's a cool magazine. Go online right now. Look Good. It. Bob, I'll keep following these shoots up as I get under Argus, yeah? Sounds good. Right. Adams wants to go wants you to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Make take it all, up for lost take all time. the time you need. <laughs> that isn't what you just said. Well <laughs> she's saying it's well, we're pretty <laughs> much we're pretty much under Argus now and uh Argus stopped a while back, so we're going to probably have another five minutes of pause yeah. so we can take our time here. So what have we come up to? 3653 meters. I wonder what that is. There's a nice, a Altered nice crust. pause it up. Yep.
night. Or is it good morning? <laughs> Lots of gravel. Yeah. For sure. Not much life in this part. Nope. It's all on the everything's moving. It's too dynamic a surface. Yeah. Set up camp. Brenny, you want to call in another move? We're it's called in. Oh, good. Yeah. It's just going to take a bit. We did settle out there so while we were taking that sample, so probably be another three or four minutes. Someone's up on our, I just saw someone in Argus upper left, a critter. Oh, really? Yeah, some, was it, or is that a cable? It's a reflection. A tether, yeah, it's a tether. tether. From bottom, when it comes up on the bottom right, so there's some weird, like, no, it's the upper left. refraction going on. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it reflects okay. when the tether comes up. Yeah. There was a fish. Yep, more and more gravel. Mm -hmm. Um. I have not figured it out yet. Is this waypoint, what number is this one? Waypoint three or two? We are going for two. How many waypoints do you have? Uh, probably like 10. I have a. I have 13. it set up on um, HIPAC plan to look at the big overview of everything. Yeah. Okay. We have viewers tuning in from 11 countries right now. Beg your pardon? We have viewers from 11 countries right now. What are they? Well, let's... What have we got? Let's see. United States, the UK, Australia, Canada, South Africa, Netherlands, France, China, Belarus, Barbados, and Austria. There we go. Send us your questions. What was that question about TOS? They were right. saying it's TOS.org is awesome. Thank you for suggesting. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. You can, like I say, you can download our entire history since we got the Nautilus in 2009. It was an East German ship, the Alexander von Humboldt. And we have a viewer asking about current depth. You can see that on our... 3646. 3646 meters. Climbing up a hill. A seamount that we think is 114 million years old. From the Cretaceous. When Earth really got excited for some reason. <laughs> zillion seamounts were made. Plates sped up. The glaciers all melted. Oh, we got a chocolate going around the room there. <laughs> when did the Nautilus start the live streaming dives? Day one. We were live streaming before that. We started doing live streaming in 1989 with the Jason project 
in the Mediterranean when I was at Woods Hall with the Jason system. We're excavating ancient shipwrecks in the deep ocean. Mary, is that who? Miss Misty. Hi, Misty. What's the time difference between us and Misty? What time is it, Misty, in Australia right now? Misty would like to know what has been your number one bucket list dive. The number one what? Bucket list dive. Wow. <laughs> I would like to find the sea people, Chip. <laughs> the sea people? Look that up. <laughs> the Luvians. So, Troy was a Luvian site. Love to find the sea people. One of our viewers is asking, what is the deepest point of the ocean? What is the what? The deepest point of the ocean. Challenger Deep, Marianas Trench, 35,800 feet, 8 tons per square inch of pressure. Dove in Trieste, dove in it with Don Walsh and Jacques Picard in January of 1960. That's the deepest spot. You know, you're mentioning Auguste Picard. That's uh, a, the father. Right, who, who kind of uh, developed the... He's Swiss. I have a picture of him at a scientific conference. Yeah, he looks like Albert Einstein. He has really you know, that long well, hair. He, you know. he is Albert Einstein and Marie Curie are in the picture as yeah, well. Yeah. Wow. Is that a fossil sponge or what is that? Between those yeah, rocks. Yeah, we can take a look. Just curious. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, just zoom in. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Dave. Misty says it's seven. It looks like a stock. I don't know. Uh, Never mind. Seven thirty p.m. Seven thirty. Yeah. All right. Full light there, please. We're in Australia, are we? Is Australia all one time zone, or does it have two time zones? <coughs> She's in Eastern Australia. Yeah. So near Sydney. Boy, if you ever go to Sydney, get in a helicopter, go out and look at the coastline and it's undercut. It's amazing. It's All right, trivia question. Where's the capital of Australia? Oh, Canberra. Oh. Canberra. And I found the heavy cruiser, the Canberra, the Guadalcanal. Uh -huh. I've been to Canberra. One of our viewers is asking, uh, noticing there's no light down here and asking how far down light reaches into the ocean. What was how, the thing about? How far? Like well, I was looking at. Oh. It says Sydney is the. Oh, opposite of East Australia. Yeah. When you say opposite, I, I'm looking at Australia. <laughs> it's on the eastern side of Australia. So the light, I think, west west side of Darwin. Turbidity of the water. So what was the other question you said? Uh, how far down yeah. does light? penetrate into the ocean. Depends upon what's in the water, uh, whether it attenuates. And high productivity water, high latitudes, much different than in the tropics. But uh, it depends upon whose eyeball. 
<laughs> you're you're looking through. I I would say what, about a what would you say, Adam? 150 meters. Yeah, 150 meters in fairly clear water. I Seems mean, like when we're coming up, we could start to see the light from the surface around 100 meters on Herc's cam. Yeah, um, but we it, also have it lights gradually on, so gets, it's, hard to tell. it's a little brighter. We have a new new vehicle we're going to be uh, adding to our repertoire called Mesobot. Yeah, it's developed by a, someone I hired a million years ago, Danny Yerger at Woods Hole Oceanographic. And Mesobot goes down into the mesopelagic layer, what's called the deep scattering layer, and it can follow critters around as they make their diurnal migration up to the surface at night and back down during when the sun comes back out. So we're going to go online and type Hui, W-H-O-I, Mesobot. And it's a real cool tool that we'll add to our toolbox. And Mesobot has some kind of brand new sensors for measuring uh, light, in, light the, in the ocean. Very so. sensitive. And it also can take environmental DNA samples. Yep. To sample the critters you can't that swam away when, before you got there. <laughs> That's great. One of our viewers just asked what you were involved in these days. So. Beg your pardon. One of our viewers asked what you are involved in these days. So. Well, here we are. <laughs> we're in America's exclusive economic zone. America. It's the second largest exclusive economic zone, which has got the largest. Who's number one in underwater real estate? Ooh. France. Oh, really? Polynesia, wow. French Polynesia. Oh. I think Australia is very close. I think maybe fourth. I know Kiribati is right up there, but I think Australia's EEZ is, because you can go all the way around it. Uh, Canada must have a ton, yeah. Yeah, but not as much as Australia, which is interesting. Now, this is really gravel country, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. You want to do another scoop? Uh, where are we in a ship move? Are we just starting one, or? We are, we have 15 meters left in the ship move. Argus probably has... Uh, about on there, 30 okay. or so meters to swing. All right, let's set it. Let it settle out. Yeah, look at there. that. Roger that. That would be a good scoop. Now so we're gonna end up. Just go in the same one, or is it is a separate? Yeah, put it in the other one. I mean, like I say, we're gonna load things on top of it. Be nice to actually have two different. Put it in the left bin. Then we, we you want to try one try uh, push core on this? That first? is not going to happen. No, you can try. I don't think you have any luck. Look oh, at the I size of we... those rocks. Yeah, we're but gonna... you should be able to scoop this pretty good. Yeah, we'll follow the shoots a little bit more there, Bob, and then. All right. Uh... Don't run out of it. Yeah, or else we'll be tracking tracking backwards. <laughs> this has got a nice. This is getting much denser. As we go up slow, this is cool. This is what we're hoping for. So you're going to run out of it? No, it still goes up oh, to the left. Off to the left. We want these big ones. Yeah, I think it looks like we're going to be continuing across these for a little while, I would imagine.
We still got about. Right, right there. How about there? Can you stop there? Uh, we still have a little bit of swing there. Traveled 15 meters. Yeah, it might. Uh, yeah, it might be fine. Try that. It'll go over you. It'll Straight be fine. down. Right under you right now. That. Sure. That right there. Scoop a doob of that. Right where the porch is. Roger that. Put it in the left one. Leftmost one, Roger. And I'm going to leave. So Adam can yeah, catch then up. Yeah, then we got to get to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be watching. <laughs> you hear footsteps coming up the ladder. Yeah, this is... This it's is cool. good. This is good. Yeah, I'm glad we went in the valley. Yeah. Stop. This is the place. I mean, this is a placer. It's so much easier. To right. Question is vol volumetrically, what can you really get a little? That's a lot. Yeah, we'll look at the concentration of the metals. I mean, it, yeah. what Coralie was seeing at the yeah. other sites. Two percent, two weight percent cobalt. Yeah, that's really high. Wow. Well, and there's no biology here. Not that we see. Well, you know, there's always biology. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> At the microbial level. Can we do a back row selfie before you leave? Oh yeah, <laughs> Bob. Look we over do a back row way. selfie. Hey there. How are you? <laughs> Get this stabilized here. Now, do you know why the lights are red in here? Tell me. Your eyes don't dilate oh, red. Oh, yes. You don't lose your night vision. <laughs> your eye pupils stay open. That's why you see them on the bridge of ships and cockpits of planes. And Yeah, again, I, the more you can scoop along the surface, Sure thing. And just scoop along until you. There you go. Yeah. All right, that's perfect. Just go shoveling away. Roger that. Keep going. And if you guys notice any jumpiness in the arm, it's uh, we got a ground fault in it. Okay. Yep. Just keep going. Fill it up. Roger. I'll get this to the back of it real quick. Yeah, shake it back there. I think the jumpiness will do it for us. <laughs> Actually, need a screen. You know. Yeah. Like a. Uh, they said they have a scoop with a, a net on the back. Yeah, but I'm thinking of like you know when you. Like a sieve. Sieve. Yeah. So you just only get the rocks. Yeah, keep going. Yep, that's good. Kirk starting to pitch yeah. around a little bit. Put it back in the back. And do it again. In a fresh area, right in front of us here. Roger. I'm going to adjust the grip a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. don't, don't lose any of the goodies. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Bob. I was just adjusting my grip so we get a better scoop. You want to come a little wide there, please, Dave? Let's get yeah. there. Go right around here somewhere. Don't lose them. <laughs> Just slide. There okay. we go. Let's just go up here, actually.
think you got any of that time. Yeah, I'm just put this guy down. Trying to do this with one scoop instead of two. Roger that. Jake, you want to be on the radio on that kill switch? Yeah, you're already there. Thank you. All right, that's that's good enough. Sure thing. Full wide, please, Dave. We don't need all of them, do we? No, we should leave some. Yeah, some of the gravel. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Get him, pop out of that toolbox there, please. Yeah, put him in the left one. We'll left see if the there's any arch. difference. <coughs> Is 104? 104. Lambda, whatever. <laughs> well, we should probably get you a few more, huh? That's enough to get it. Idea. Those are the new Bitcoins. <laughs> Rare Earth Bitcoins. <laughs> Trying to make them slide. Oh, there they go. Good old gravity. There we go. That's a good little collection of Easter eggs. When we cut a few of these today from yesterday's dive, they had a little piece of basalt yeah, around the which they precipitated. Yep. Come up on that delta there, Jake, a little bit. All right. There you are. All right, Adam, I'm going to leave you alone. All right. You can kick it into afterburners. Yeah, yeah we're going to try. Close that up Warp there, speed. Sure. Just when you go by that Hawaiian canoe, you got to stop. Oh, we'll stop for that. <laughs> that would be amazing. All right. Ooh. All right, we'll still be doing this in the morning. <laughs> That's in an hour. Oh. Looks <laughs> 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 on. Right, turn that off. All right, see you in the morning. Good night. All right, Adam. Yep. If you promise we don't have to stop, we can go point three knots. Let's do it. <laughs> or maybe even point four because it's really gentle slope. But let's start with point three. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> Bridge nav. Cover some ground. No, seriously. Uh, can we step one hundred meters bearing three five zero speed zero point three? Thank you.
We have a viewer asking why you think there might not be any animals in this area. Yeah, well, so definitely it's partly because we're deep and uh, on all our dives so far we've seen lower concentrations or density of animals uh, the deeper that we are. Uh, also, we're away from any of the kind of bedrock or hard rock surfaces that a lot of the animals like to attach to. And, you know, where they attach, they also seem to attract the more mobile species. There's Ooh. a little fish passing by. We've definitely seen <laughs> uh, a lot of those. Fast. That's Sign the fastest it's ever moved in its life. <laughs> Uh, Jake, you want to zoom in there a bit? Oh. Nice. Oh. Eel pout? Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't think it's that, but... Cordate. <laughs> Cordate. Cordate it is. <laughs> All right, pull wide there, please, Jake. Wait, is that a juggler fish? A juggler fish? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let me back up so we don't get a fish to the thruster. 